good morning everyone in the last class we understood why the classification of living organisms was done and why it was important so let us see the classification of all living organisms done by robert whitaker into five broad categories which are called kingdoms the five kingdoms which he proposed were monera prostata fungi plantae and animalia let us see these five kingdoms in detail first let us understand how the hierarchy was created first came the kingdom there were five kingdoms and the classification was done based on very basic characteristics such as cell structure mode of nutrition etc so let us see these five kingdoms in detail that is monera prostata fungi plantae and animalia we will start with the kingdom monera all living organisms that belong to kingdom monera have single cell but they do not have a well defined nucleus or membrane bound organelles the cell wall may be present or absent and few of them can make their own food that is they are autotrophic and few of them cannot that is heterotrophic nutrition so we see apart from similarities there are many differences too so all archaea bacteria that is ancient bacteria present till date eu bacteria which are also called true bacteria such as e coli and cyanobacteria fall into this kingdom in short we can say kingdom monera consists of prokaryotes next comes the kingdom prostata now this group has single celled organism having eukaryotic cell this means they have well defined nucleus and also have membrane bound organelles some of them have appendages such as hair like cilia or whip like flagella for moving around single cell algae protozoan like amoeba paramecium and euglena are the few members of protista kingdom basically kingdom protista consists of eukaryotes next is kingdom fungi they are heterotrophic eukaryotes which get nutrition from decaying substances hence they are also called saprophytes their cell has tough cell wall made from a sugar called chitin you know many of them can be multicellular at certain stages of their lives for example yeast mushroom belong to the kingdom fungi in short we can say kingdom fungi consists of heterotrophic eukaryotes next comes the kingdom plantae these are multicellular eukaryotes with cell wall they can make their own food through photosynthesis so we can say all green plants that make food fall into this group and the last kingdom that is the fifth one is the kingdom animalia these are multicellular eukaryotes who don't have cell wall they are heterotrophs meaning they cannot make their own food like the green plants all animals including human beings fall into this group so now you know the characteristics of the five kingdoms that is monera protista fungi plantae and animalia 
as proposed by Robert Whittaker. In the next class, we will understand how the living organisms were systematically categorized into five different kingdoms based on their common characteristics. That's all for now. Bye-bye.